So we are heading to LA. Uh, I thought I should give you a physics problem. This is a car. Car initial time is uh, zero. The same car. The final time is um, uh, let's say two hour. And then let's uh, say velocity. Initial velocity is zero. Final velocity is twenty mile per hour. We'll be solving for distance, displacement, speed, velocity, the magnitude of acceleration, and acceleration over time for this scenario, where the initial time is zero, the initial velocity is zero, the final time is two hours, the final velocity is And you have to write six equations. Have distance over time. So how are we going to do that? Well, we have to find the distance first. The total distance traveled is going to be VIT plus half a t squared. So what's v naught t? Well, v naught is of course zero as provided in the problem. So we just get half a t squared. And of course, a is just the change in velocity divided by time. So we get this, which is just one half times twenty minus zero times time, which is just two. So we just get, this cancels out, 20 miles. So 20 miles were traveled in two hours. So we mark two here and 20 here. And we know it's not constant rate of motion since it's accelerating. So it has to be a second degree polynomial like this. So how do we actually express that? Well, it's very simple. This is just P of T is equal to 5T squared. Plug it in and you'll see I'm right. 5 times 2 squared is equal to 20. All right, next one is displacement over time. But since it's going in the same exact direction, so it'd be the same exact graph, ending at 2 and 20. Now speed is different, but it linearly accelerates from VI equals 0 to VF equals 20. So we know this is just going to be 2, this is going to be 20. And we just draw a linear graph. And of course, speed over time is just going to be the slope of the line times time. So what's the slope of this line? 20 divided by 2 is 10. 10 T. And the same goes for velocity. Finally, the absolute value of acceleration and acceleration are once again the same since they're traveling in the same direction. So we just take... The rate of acceleration is always 10, so we write that for both of them. And of course, the function is just going to be a of t is equal to 10. Well, no. here. Okay, explain your answers. Well, here are my answers. First, we have p of t equals 5t squared. Obviously, this has to be a quadratic because there's an acceleration, meaning the distance is not changing linearly. So, we know p of t had to be 5t squared. Why? Well, it starts at zero, so it has to be of the form n, where n is some coefficient, times t squared. So then we just plug in the data points. So we get two, uh, at t equals 2, the distance is 20 miles. So we get 5 times 4 equals 20. So 5t squared is the equation that works out. And it's the same for displacement because we're traveling in one direction. So what about st and vt? Well, that's pretty easy to do as well because it's linearly changing with the constant acceleration. So we just get S of t is 10t, because it start, uh, starts at 0 and ends at 20. It starts at 0 and ends at 2 hours for time. Same with velocity. And act, both accelerations are constant, of course. It doesn't matter what time it is. It's always accelerating at 10 miles per square hour.